I woke up today so excited. I get to go truck shopping. Let's get to it. I know, it's probably not the smartest thing to do, especially when you're trying to save a farm to go truck shopping, but I just think it's smart. All we have right now is one truck, really. So we have our 24 valve, three quarter ton Dodge out there. It is a great running truck, but I just think it's smart. I just want, I mean, I got some money in the bank. I really would like to purchase a new truck, but let's go see what we have. Hey Buck, what's up? Man, you just went right through that fence right there. That's weird, Buck. Good old Buck. All right, so we are just gonna drive to the dealership. So I'm going to uh, go hook up the trailer, primarily because I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy a truck there. And I just, I just wanna be able to uh, drive it home right away. Uh, there is a local dealership. This dealership only specializes in used trucks. They don't have really any new trucks, so they just sell trucks off of, tr they, they purchase trucks off of trade-offs of bigger dealerships, and that way they can sell a lot of older trucks. I'm sure you guys have all seen them around, so being this area has a lot of farmland, of course they're mostly specialized in construction or farm equipment type trucks. Alright, so we're pulling our big trailer out here. I don't know if this is wise. Going to a dealership when you're pulling a trailer, they kind of think they have you hooked in. Oh well. Hopefully they don't try to get us too bad here. This isn't a bad truck by any means. I really like this old Cummins truck we have. I'm going to keep this around, of course. I think this will turn into my primarily my work truck. Then I have to have my uh, normal daily driver, the one you go take the wife on a date with, the one you go to town, go take it to the dinner, the truck you're proud of. Not like I'm not proud of this truck, I just, it's gonna get beat up being a, a work truck, so I don't want to always have to shine this up after I get it all muddy in the feet. Make sure there's no one coming here. So it's a little ways, it's past uh, Farmer Jim's place and the dealership. Beans it rained the other day, it's almost a perfect time to go truck shopping. Uh, we can't get in the field, we can't really do anything much right now, so I just thought it would be a good time to go spend my money. Man, I always enjoy looking at this beautiful John Deere green over here. Man, them are some good looking tractors over there. And of course that combine and chopper. Guess we got a mower or swather over there too. Some beautiful tractors. One day, one day I might be able to afford them. Traffic is going really slow today. Like creepingly slow. I don't know what it is with this area, but it seems like everyone drives a station wagon. I mean, what is so fascinating with a station wagon around here? I'm surprised they don't have a uh, station wagon uh, dealership local. Then you got this guy just stopped in the middle of the road. I do not know. Words do not explain. So here's the dealership. Now look at them trucks. Woo! And there's some nice trucks there. Man. Man, oh man. Can't really go in the front because we got a trailer, so we're gonna have to pull around the back here. So luckily they have trailer access back here. I just love this area. 
This is a beautiful area. They just built this uh, dealership not too long ago. All right, we'll shut the truck off here and just look. Got a beautiful stream running down this hill over there. You got pine forest around. Just beautiful area around here. We're getting distracted. We're looking at trucks. Come on. So I'm looking at this first truck and I'm not impressed. I mean, obviously somebody decided I'm not a fan of lowrider trucks. I know a lot of people are, but it's just not for me. That truck is not for me. Nope. Not too much of a fan. This looks like somebody uh, probably got either hired on as a hired hand or started to wanted to get a uh, farm truck instead because this isn't going to get down the roads the easiest. Just not a fan. I know they're kind of cool in their own way, but to me it's just not my type of truck. I'm just curious, does it feel like you're sitting lower in this thing? Mm, yeah, you kind of look. I mean, look, I can all, I can see underneath my Dodge truck right there. Uh, yeah. Nope. Not for me. Ooh. This thing. XLT. What exactly... What is this? Man. That thing just looks mean. It has a welder in back. Oh, yep. TIG welder. ACDC welder. Wow, it has a... Uh, Look at the chains, a nice little setup. Has a little vice. Of course, it has a uh, gooseneck hitch. Looks like the gooseneck hitch is a little far back. That's kind of odd that it's that far back on this truck. Hmm. I guess maybe it's a lot of weight. Looks, uh, the toolboxes are definitely cool right behind the cab there. You don't see a lot of these four doors. A lot of them are uh, rusted out. It's too bad. Uh, looks like uh, that might be a fuel tank over there. Oh, there. Yep, there's your nozzle and everything. That's kind of neat. This would be one heck of a farm truck. Kind of already have a work truck over there. Ooh, look at that. I love the looks of these old front dashes like that. That's cool. These bench seats. Nothing's cooler than that. So, it looks like the back window. Can't really see much. You'd have to use all the mirrors. Ooh, man. Starts right up. Sounds good. It's a good old truck, man. I don't know. I, I kind of need a newer truck than my work truck, though. That's the only bad thing about it. But that thing is nice. I kind of like the visor. Ooh, that thing sticks out far. Ooh, this looks like... Yep. This looks like a 2007 Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. 6.7. Hmm. That's a nice truck. Man, we kind of had a truck like this on Autumn Oak. So this is kind of like Grant's truck. Ooh, look at all that front dash. So clean. Uh, a little bit too sharp of edges for my taste, obviously, kind of, but very clean, very slick looking, very, very sophisticated. You almost look like you don't, if you're wearing dirty jeans, you almost feel bad in this truck. Man, nice and clean, all this leather. Look at that. That moon roof is just crazy all that sunlight you can get in there not too big of a fan of moon roofs but that's kind of cool how it does that I like how the switches are so easy to handle up here right up there for the moon roof and everything sometimes them switches are really hard to grab this thing definitely looks nice Kind of like how the mirrors and the steps fold out too. That's pretty cool. It has some BF Goodrich mud tires on it. FX4 off-road. 
Wouldn't mind having one of these again. That's definitely a possibility. Ooh, what is this? This is a 2005 or 2006 Chevy. Looks like it has a little cow hood on it. Man. Like the looks of these trucks. So I used to have one of these trucks that looked like this, but it was a extended cab. Oh, yep. Yeah. Has a gooseneck hitch on there. Look at that. That's clean inside. Nice and clean. Got a toolbox. A gas tank. Man. This could be an option. Once again, I mean, we're kind of getting the same age as our uh, other Dodge over there, or 98 Dodge over there. It's a few years newer, but kind of got a lot of high miles on it. Now this is a beautiful truck. What is this, a 90? Scottsdale? I'm not sure. Thought this would be like a K30 or something. Not sure exactly. Let's look in here. Oh yeah, that thing sounds nice. So almost it has bench seats like the other Ford over there. Man, does have uh, power windows, power locks. So that's kind of odd for this old of truck, but they definitely had them around. Definitely got a lot of leg room. Nice and clean interior. I kind of like that. This truck would definitely be a possibility. I think I'm going to go test drive this quick. Uh, the dealer basically said all the keys are in it. And I could just test drive whatever truck I needed. The only thing I hate about this dealership is this front gate is awful narrow. I need to widen that. This thing takes off quick. What the heck do we have here? What the heck happened there? I don't know. But this thing, whoo. I already got way up to speed. We're not even in our lane. This would be a nice truck. Only thing bad about this truck is it's not newer than our uh, Dodge that we have, so that would be kind of, uh, would be nice truck to have. I just, I really would want a newer truck, but this is like a good project truck, that's for sure. Good thing about this thing, you can open the hood and not have to program a computer. Remember the good old days back then. All right, we're just gonna pull this in here. Watch out for the branches. Park this right over here. There we go. Now this little dump truck, it's like a city dump truck or project dump truck. This is basically our truck. It does have some lights on it, that's kind of nice. Uh, it is a dually. And obviously it has a power lift dump on the back. This wouldn't really be an uh, everyday truck just because uh, you're not going to drive a dump truck for that purpose. Man, this kind of looks nice though. Yep. Definitely a nice looking truck. Woo! I think we might have to come back to this one. This Denali is sharp. Got a two. Well, this is kind of odd. I thought they were a used dealership. I wonder why they have this Dodge truck here. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh, that's nice. Got a big dually in the back. Look at that stance. Look at that big old sides it has. Must have toolboxes in the sides there. Limited. 4x4. Four four. This has got to be a 2020. Whoo, look at the insides of this thing. Whoo, Dodge really came around when it designed this. Man, I remember when the Dodge trucks were rough inside. Now, 
Man, now they're so clean. It's very clean. Uh, it still looks like it's a shift uh, four-wheel drive lever down there. So must not be a high-end model here. So most of the new trucks are all push-button. But uh, got a uh, front bucket seats. Looks like uh, all the controls. It's got dual climate control. Very nice. Man, this thing is sweet inside. Might have to take this for a quick little test run here. Yep. Let's see. Uh, get this thing turned out. Now look at that clean. I really like the two tones of this thing. Looks like this has a uh, front hitch for a uh, snow plow in the front there. The really selling point of this truck is that grill. I mean, just look at that grill. You cannot look. It's impossible to look uncool no matter what from looking at the front end of this thing. That thing is mean looking. That just barely fit through that gate. Really nice truck. Not too much sound in there. Dodge has really come along here recently, recently, but they made a nice truck here. Whew. This thing is definitely nice. Turn around. Don't want to turn around in that person's field there. Now this truck I don't know if we can afford this truck really because this has got to be pushing close to 80 at least 70,000 out the door that would be a little bit too tight for our budget man this thing is pull this thing in here just look at that grill that thing is nice I need to turn on the lights See them LED lights? Uh, that is cool. Man. This truck would be cool. Don't think I can afford you, but you are a cool looking truck. Looks like we got a K30 here. Or K10? Yep, K10. Ooh, look at that cow duction hood there. I just love that uh, flat black. Man, this is a project truck to have, that's for sure. Nice carpet. Hoister seats, man. Looks like there's a little bit problem with the windshield, but this is a beautiful truck, that's for sure. Hmm. Gear shifter. Be a nice truck to have, that's for sure. Don't think I'm looking for a project truck right now, though. Now, if this wasn't this color, this would be an option as a truck here. This looks like some type of road construction. I'm not a real big fan of them rims, but definitely kind of different looking. I do like the tailgates of these rams, so the limited tailgates. Them things look mean. I kind of like these upholster seats here, so definitely sounds good inside, but don't think I'm really too much of a fan of this orange. Not gonna do it for me today. That is one bright truck, that is for sure. And tires are giant on there. I bet they really sling the rocks. Look at that. All that, how far out it is, I guarantee there's some big rocks getting thrown going down the road with this thing. Definitely makes some noise going down the road. Looks like we got another uh, three-quarter ton. What is this, about a 2005 model here? Looks like a Duramax, an old, 
Old trusty old Duramax there. Now this thing ain't too bad in the side, so it's a little bit. Looks like we got a uh, diesel controls up there, or at least a readout of what your diesel's doing. So that's kind of nice. The, bit, the seats, everything inside, just kind of looks a little bit different. Especially the hole on the side of that cab right there. That is not normal. We got another hole. That's weird. Definitely weird. Alright. The hole is just not doing it for me. Now this reminds me of my cousin's truck here. This is almost a Zack model of it. Now that thing sounds good. One of the best sounding trucks, I think. Man. This is one pretty truck, that's for sure. These old OBS Fords, they are nice. That wouldn't be bad, but I think my cousin would be mad at me if I copied her and got that truck. She, uh, definitely, that's her baby. Now, we did skip a truck here. This is a GMC Denali Sierra. So, basically, so if you guys don't know, this is my truck. This is my real life truck right here. Almost exactly. A little bit different rims I have on mine. I, mine's a 2018. I don't think you can uh, get these rims in 2018. Not sure. But basically, everything is just like mine. So mine is... Uh, all white in front so it's got that uh, pearl white paint all around it it's a uh, three-quarter ton it's a diesel it also it has the Duramax in it and also has that uh, air induction hood it has over 900 foot-pounds of torque that thing can purr look in here man that's nice. So the mirrors fold out and everything. So you, this thing is beautiful inside. So just like mine, it's all black interior. Uh, mine being just a Duramax, it's just slightly different. My controls down there below the climate controls are a little bit different. So most Duramaxes are. So you have a lane departure there. The only big difference in this in a Duramax is uh, uh, the controls for the gas gauge and all that stuff that's a digital readout in mine so if you just get a, a normal GMC that's their gauges just like that but mine's a digital readout not really that big of a deal just something beans I own this truck I know this thing I, I just like how clean the appearance is on these Chevys so you basically buy a Chevy three-quarter ton for a couple reasons. One, the ride, and two, the Allison transmission. At least that's why I bought it. So there is not a better riding truck in my opinion. So yes, I did test drive. I didn't drive a 2020 Dodge. I probably would have bought it if I had that, that been out when I bought my truck. I did uh, drive a... Uh, Ford uh, 2000 I've drove a 2019 and 2018 the 19s were just coming out when I bought my truck so I didn't buy them because I couldn't get a good discount on them I'm not gonna pay I'm not gonna pay the dealerships price that they asked for it on the lot I'm gonna pay a lot less that's sure at least I have to feel like I'm getting a good deal I don't know I might have kind of got screwed but I at least think I got a pretty good deal on my truck, but the biggest issue between that I told, I didn't end up getting a Ford is one, I would have to get a Platinum. I wanted to get the lane departure and all that stuff in my uh, in my next truck. It's just what I wanted. So heads up collision, lane departure. I wanted that. To get that in the Ford, I had to go to a Platinum Edition. Platinum Edition, I was at least expecting 10 grand more 
than I paid for my fully loaded Denali. And yes, it's fully loaded. It was just too much money. Too much money for me. So that's why I ended up getting a Chevy, to be honest. At the time, Dodges, I didn't like the Dodges. Basically, they made rough work trucks. Uh, I do like the 2020 Dodges, but they weren't out when I was looking for a truck. Uh, my truck, I just like the clean appearance. I just like clean, slick appearance of the truck. That's why I ended up getting it. Uh, another big reason why I didn't get the Ford is my wife hated the looks of it. Absolutely disgusted by it. She doesn't like the sharp edges, so just her opinion. I don't really mind it. I think it looks definitely mean when it's coming down the road, especially at night. Especially the newer versions with the lights like that, the little uh, sea lights, I call them. But definitely a mean looking truck, but I wouldn't get rid of my truck if somebody paid me what I bought for it. So I, I love my truck. Anybody's back and roll. So really like this truck, but I think they got a better truck in the bay. So the dealer said they just got this brand new truck in. I just love the tires. These BF Goodrich's on here with them uh, black uh, rims. Not sure if I would actually get these if I got aftermarket rims of tires for my truck, but definitely make it pop a little bit. Uh, just love the looks of it. I think I'm going to end up getting this truck. This is my favorite truck on the lot here. It is a Denali. It is a Denali HD edition, so it's fully loaded. Just a beautiful truck. So the mirrors fold out and the step sides, they fold in as soon as you get in there. So if you see that, kind of nice. I kind of like that. This truck is nice. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna sell. I'm definitely gonna get this truck. Just sounds nice. Listen to that old Duramax freak take off. You can just barely hear that air induction hood. So that is definitely realistic. You just barely hear it a little bit. You can definitely tell the difference driving between one without it one whip to it the LP5s with the new hood and everything man do they have some gojonas they will go down the road so especially pulling my boat I barely feel a thing behind there I used to have a uh, half ton Chevy and that thing was horrible at pulling the boat I hated pulling the boat with that thing went from a 2006 Dodge Hemi to a uh, 2015 GMC Sierra and that thing I hated that horrible at pulling stuff horrible gas mileage when you're pulling stuff so definitely like my Denali HD though that thing is freaking nice so let's see if we could seal the deal on here all right sixty thousand dollars is Zach so we got it Brand new truck, exactly what I paid for mine. $60,000, brand new. Just looks beautiful. Beautiful truck. So this thing will be nice going down the road. I feel so happy now I have a brand new truck going. It's been a long time. So I know we. it's not very smart buying a brand new truck like this, but I just think it's a time I should reward myself. I'm gonna get me a brand new truck. So let's get this on this trailer here quickly. So we're just pulling in here with our brand new truck. Didn't really have to put it on a trailer obviously, but this way we didn't have to have somebody go pick up our truck or drive us back. Man, does that thing look nice. It's just the kind of truck that you just find a reason to go driving it for. Can't wait to have some beautiful drives through this beautiful Oregon countryside.
But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.